Hi everyone, it's Kasha from Tarot Map, and I wanted to show you the Doodle Tarot. So this is a study deck for beginners by MK Holloway. I did mention this deck before and M sent it to me for a review. Um, I probably won't be keeping this deck for myself. I'm going to gift it to somebody who is a beginner. The reason is that I do not read. <laughs> reversals and I'm a seasoned reader so it's hard for me to totally change how I read and uh, nevertheless I took this deck on because I like good ideas and I think it could be a fun and um, interesting way of you know learning tarot as the tarot studying tarot to have this help um, from keywords and you can see that you get um, the keywords that are upright and then if the card um, comes up reversed, then you have also the writing so that you can read it. So I think the idea of the deck is really cool. It's really well made. As you can see, it comes with this hardy, um, hardy box, really beautiful. And um, she has created it as if it was drawn, like hand drawn on a piece of, you know, notebook as you can see with those holes and the little booklet is written in a fun way as well as uh, like the full is you know on a journey right so for example the magician says the fool as the fool walks along his path he hears a very intriguing man calling to him the man known as the magician was very excited to show the fool all his magical tricks all the four um all for the price of one flower <laughs> out of thin air he could manifest anything the fool desired the magician was very talented when his magical show was over the magician warned the fool to watch out for illusions and trickery Later, they discovered that the magician was the trickster. High priest, down on his luck and confused, the fool found a woman with a magical crystal ball and so on and so forth. So it's pretty cool, right? So this was for the major arcana. For the main, uh, minors, you have like um, cool keywords as well, like a key sentence. So two of pentacles balances the key, two of wands, all the places you will go, two of cups, hooray for partnership and uh, two of swords this is one tough decision um so i think this is pretty cool i really dig this that's why i said yes please i would like to show it to like on my channel um so the decks backs are like this and there was another reason why i actually <laughs> wanted to um review this deck because I have created my own, um, during the deep play divination with Melissa Lucia, I have created my own oracle deck. Um, it's not finished, it was just a kind of for fun. And I've made a couple of cards, so that many. Melissa sent us some prompts and some materials and we drew this oracle with our non-dominant hand. So, you know, that was really cool. Um, idea so melissa in deep play divination she sends a lot of creative stuff and then it's up to you you know what you do with it so i was actually good enough good girl and i wanted to um create this oracle deck for myself so what i did um i actually uh, used some of those funky little quotes that were stickers and then with my left hand which i'm usually right-handed I drew everything and I wrote everything and it was like a meditation every morning you know and it um, so I did this and then I thought uh, how cool these two you know decks look together <laughs> so I could pull one of my oracle cards and then um, this little tarot uh, card as an extension or going deeper for this um, I, I, I do love this deck. I don't know. Maybe I won't give it away. Who knows? I think it's pretty cool. And sometimes, you know, sometimes it's cool to have keywords and just go via intuition just to pick the right keyword. So this oracle, for example, is get on with it. To be honest, I'm just swinging it. Life, motherhood, my eyeliner, everything. So, you know, the, it just was meant to be funny. I'm just waiting to see if my coffee chooses to use its powers for good or evil today. Um, 
I don't like to think before I speak. I like to be just as surprised as everyone else about what comes out of my mouth. <laughs> I, I just laughed when I read some of those, you know. Then other cards have like a little bit more of uh, like different all her dreams would come true, the traveler, so that was created during the, during the lunar eclipse. Um, what's your superpower? Common sense is so rare these days, it should be classified as a superpower. <laughs> and so on and so forth, you know, there is like a, a spring clean. I was going to do something today, but I haven't finished doing nothing from yesterday. Some of them were like Venus gates, um, move on, put all my past away. The PT train has just derailed at the corner of suck it up and move on. <laughs> we'll be best friends forever because you already know too much. So yeah, that was me. So I used to do this, that I used to pull one of those cards uh, from my Oracle. So let's say Emerge and this is Twin Self. And then we have Venus in Gemini. Um, language lessons, words, a wonderful creature. Uh, so um, you could put, pull any oracle card and then use a couple of cards from any deck really to like what's emerging? What is my twin self telling me right now? So financial collapse, fake money, family, food, loss. Okay, thanks, twin self. Um, I think because I love tarot in its entirety, uh, I don't really see the cards one-sided like this, okay? But sometimes for divination reasons, it might be quite practical to have it like, that's it, financial collapse. That's what's going to happen. Uh, the moon, unconscious, illusions, intuitions, deception, so I might not even notice when my financial collapse is happening. <laughs> Thanks, evil twin. And um, fatherhood, authority, structure and control, and then maybe I get control over it or like, you know, I finally uh, fall on my uh, four feet and um, it's all going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And um, the Doodle Tarot is a cool deck for beginners or for people who love using reversals. And if you want to do an oracle for yourself um, with, you know, non-dominant hand, you might doodle away and then you have a doodle oracle for you and the doodle tarot that you can get from um, M and it goes together really cool. It's a good effort any, anyway. And the keywords are okay, you know, the keywords are just what we think of traditional, I mean, traditional maybe not, but what we think of tarot archetypes right now uh, at this DNA. So um, yeah, it's a really cool effort. So thanks for watching guys. Tomorrow is my birthday, please. If you appreciate uh, my work and my channel, just send me some good energy, okay? I would be lovely.